Before the video start, please hit that like button. Hey folks, welcome to another video. Today I will show you how to discharge a capacitor safely and quickly. Capacitors are found in all devices, from microwaves to computers in cars. Before working with any device, it is necessary to empty the capacitors. This is done very quickly in a safe way. As an electrical engineer, I have often seen how people empty their capacitors in the wrong way and, in the process, are shocked by the sparks and the mini explosion that happens. I will explain to you step by step how to discharge the capacitors very easily and safely. It is necessary to use protection when discharging the capacitor. You need insulated gloves to protect you from accidental contact with metal through which electricity passes. It is also required to use goggles preventively if sparks occur. Capacitors are like mini bases for power transmission. They store electricity in themselves and filter specific signals, and further forward the current signals needed for the operation of the circuit. And they keep the rest of the electricity inside. Depending on the capacitance, the capacitor can store more or less current. The capacitor unit is a farad. Farad is a huge unit, so it is used pico, nano, and microfarad. The operating voltage is also marked on the capacitor. If you want to replace the capacitor, you need to put one with the same values. You cannot set a lower or higher value of the capacitor than the same. The capacitor also has two pins on the sides marked with two signs, one plus and one minus. That way, you will know which foot goes to which side in the electrical circuit. Connecting the wrong capacitor will destroy your capacitor and may damage the drudge elements in the circuit. Never touch or do anything with the appliance or capacitor while it is plugged in. The first thing you need to do is turn off the power. This will make you safer and more secure when you discharge the capacitor. You need three things, insulated gloves, glasses, and a discharge pen. A discharge pen is one perfect device that is not expensive at all. Which will safely discharge the capacitor without sparks and electric shock. The discharge pen drew current from the capacitor, passed it with great resistance, and discharged your capacitor. Now connect those two strokes to the discharge pen. Be sure to join the ends well and wait a few seconds. Then remove the discharge pen. Your capacitor is empty. This method is hazardous. You can make sparks or electric shocks. You need to use goggles, insulated gloves, and an insulated screwdriver. Suppose there is a capacitor on the board. In that case, I do not recommend using this method because you can touch a power line and damage the drudge elements in the circuit. Connect the legs of the condenser to the screwdriver so that they both touch the metal part of the screwdriver. Do it a couple of times quickly. You may see sparks or a small explosion. Yes, it's possible. In time to drain the capacitor. From a long time of non-use. If it is not connected to a battery or other power source. Very simply connect a capacitor to the battery source. If you connect to 3 volts, it charges to 3 volts. If you connect to 9, you charge it with 9 volts, and so on. The multimeter can also charge it. Now you will see how to check the correctness of the capacitor.